Hi, it's Richard from Original Outdoors, and this is the review of the Helicon Text Bushcraft Satchel. And it was going to be a little bit more interesting than this, but while well, I was just laying out the kit for one of those flat lay photos um, that all the cool kids are doing on Instagram, um, and it actually seemed like a really good opportunity to talk about the bag. I was going to do something else over there involving walking around a little bit, uh, but this seemed like the perfect place to do it. So we'll talk about the bag itself. It's fairly simple. It's a bag. It's unpadded. There are no padded shoulder bits. There's no padded back piece. It's mostly symmetrical. There's a zipped pouch on the outer on this side and on the inside, on one side, there's a uh, zipped netter, netted inner pocket. But apart from that, it is completely symmetrical. So at each end, you have this Molle Pals um, compatible uh, webbing system. So two strips there and then a third one, which is adjustable. You can use as a volume adjuster or shove something under it and carry it for a short period. And you have a pass through pocket that completely comes through there and then one that's fixed at one end so you can just use it as a normal pocket and then there's a line of webbing with molle type loops and daisy chain loops that runs all the way down there under the bottom of the bag and then up the other side um, you've got a releasable shoulder strap which does release quite quickly just some normal kydex type buckles um, there's something there's a missed opportunity there but i'll come back to that later on one side you have a fairly capacious uh, zipped pocket there and this little leather badge that it shows you from its helico it's from helicon's what well, bushcraft line i think they're calling it um little zippers here ykk zippers and then on the inside elasticated pouches at either end and a zipped netted pouch there and the whole thing has a capacity of about 17 litres, which is usable. It's quite good. And as I said, there's no padding anywhere on it. So the whole thing, when it's empty, weighs about 490 grams. So that's actually not bad. And I think the lack of padding and the lack of any kind of contouring that you see on other shoulder bags really has helped uh, reduce that weight. Oh, there's, there's a missed opportunity, I said, with this shoulder strap, which is... When you unclip the shoulder strap, it's two female buckles, which it, I think there's a missed opportunity there that you could have had one of these being male and they could have clipped together to make kind of a grab bag thing or clip it around a tree or the thwart of a canoe or onto a rucksack strap or something like that. I don't know, maybe Helicon have, a, have more of an idea of what they're doing than I do and this is meant to clip into some other system on their bags and it's something I've completely missed, but... I don't know, for me, that would have been a nice feature. Um, the other thing is the zip pulls, they are a bit short. Um, if you've got fat fingers like me, or you're wearing gloves, or it's particularly cold, they can be easy to miss. Um, so what I tend to do is extend all the zips on my gear anyway. So on this particular bag, when I was using it, I clipped a little torch and carabiner to it like that, which made it easy to grab. I should probably talk a little bit about the ways I've used this bag um, because I received it sometime in, I think it was late August or thereabouts, and I've used it pretty much every week since then. I've used it in three different ways, really. One has been just as an empty bag that I carry with me, maybe with a few small items with it and then i use it as a giant possibles pouch or foraging pouch um it, we, we're just well we're still in it really we're in the edible fungi season and the best foraging season there for it in north wales um and this has been the bag i've been using to go out and gather fungi it's um something it, 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 it's small enough to scrunch up and use and put inside another bag or inside a coat pocket um and then get out and turn into a proper bag when you need it to. Um, the lack of padding and the lack of any contouring really helps with that. And it's been really good for that purpose. The second way I've used it has been as a day bag, personal admin, kind of recce scout bag. So either for photography work or work where I'm working with a client and we're doing short trips away from a vehicle or away from a base camp or something like that. And I need to carry some kit with me, but I don't want to carry a full rucksack for whatever reason. Um, it's been really good for that. And 
thirdly, I've used it as a way of dividing the kit within my rucksack. So I would fill this with stuff that I uh, would almost certainly need throughout a night or something like that. So things like my cooking and eating kit, and maybe a water filter, fire lighting kit, head torch or main torch or whatever. Um, that would all sit in here and then that whole thing would get put into the main rucksack and then when I arrived at my camp for the night or the area I'm going to be working in for that next period I can put the rucksack down and take this bag out of it and hang it from a tree or somewhere something like that that means that I've got a way of keeping my kit organized but accessible so I don't have to get everything out of the rucksack every time I want one small thing I can just go to this bag where it's much easier to find and I don't also have to do this which I really hate doing it's not because I like everything to be neat it's because this is how you lose stuff you put stuff it gets shoved under a leaf gets pushed under something like that and then you can't find it and it's it's gone forever and that could be a crucial bit of kit so it's a way of having a place to put all those small really important items that I want to keep together but also have uh, ready access to them the bag being so light um, and being uh, so scrunchable and easy to compress down means that I don't have an extra real weight penalty for the bag or um, it take, doesn't take up too much extra room inside a rucksack but it's small enough and easy enough to pull out and um, not have to worry about disturbing everything else in a 40 litre bag say. So those have been the three ways I've been using it. I actually took some kit off the outside of this bag for the review photos and clips uh, because the, it doesn't come with the bag but I've been using these two pouches with it one on either end one holds my VHF radio and comms kit when I'm working with clients where um, that's appropriate and the other end has been my binoculars small compact binoculars um, that live inside a water pouch they're both Molle pals whatever system and they strap nicely on either end and it doesn't take up too much room it doesn't have too much weight and it's uh, it, it also doesn't unbalance the bag that some external pouches can do on some systems um, I know some people um, don't like the fact that it doesn't have a waist um, strap belt thing but for me that's not too much of an issue I like the way the bag fits if I kneel, you can kind of see how it hangs around the body. These turned up bits here actually help grip the body a little bit and bend the bag around you. So it's a very nice natural fit, but it also doesn't swing around too much. It can still flap away from the body, but that's a feature that's, that's a problem with all shoulder bags. Um, an addition of a waist strap on a shoulder bag normally means it's something I either end up cutting off or tucking away and never use because all those waist straps do is hold the bag up here and take the weight off your shoulders and it's just a really uncomfortable bum bag or fanny pack in America. All the British people can stop giggling because I said fanny pack. That's about it. It's the Helicon Tex Bushcraft Satchel. It is a bag, it's a very good shoulder bag, it's a very simple shoulder bag and it does everything I need it to do personally and it's from a brand that I've come to trust because I've used a few bits of their kit over the years and they're solid enough to inspire confidence so I really, I, I do really like it. We're not a really a YouTube channel, Original Outdoors is actually an outdoor training business. So we make these videos uh, partly to, so we stay on top of what is the latest kit so that we really get our hands on stuff that we know we can recommend to clients and also just uh, to reach new audience who might be interested in some of our training courses or just becoming fans of what we do. So if you do like this video and you like the channel then please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you just want to watch this video and get on with the rest of your life, then that's fine too. I can't do anything about that. Whatever you're going to do next, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time.